Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, we have our Ipsy versus Ipsy. This one is the standard bag. I am truthfully not sure where my plus is currently. It shipped out the day that we customized, so the second. It's now the 16th and both of my moms are here. My little bag showed up and it shipped out way earlier. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check shipping and see like what the deal is with that. I'm hoping it's gonna get here today or tomorrow and if not, I'm gonna start getting concerned. We'll see, but that one hasn't come yet because we haven't been able to film it yet. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Basically, Ipsy versus Ipsy is I have a standard and a plus subscription. My mother also has a standard and a plus subscription. Each month we both get our bags. I take the two uh, standard bags and I compare them. I take the two plus bags and I compare them and I pick out which bag was my favorite as a whole and then I pick out my top five favorite products from the 10 that we received and make my ideal bag. It's just something fun to do. Why not? If you haven't subscribed, do that. We're fun. We do a lot of unboxings and we do a lot of other stuff like this. So and other like you know, beauty, st I don't know. We do beauty stuff and other stuff. We do whatever we feel like. Just join. We're fun. That was convincing, I'm sure. Anyway, let's jump into the good stuff. Um, so I always start with moms. I don't know why, uh, I just do. Uh, and I do choose my uh, my customized object each. I, I don't know what I just said there. I don't, I, what happened? I do choose my customized option each month, but I don't really check the, um, the other, well, recently I've been looking at the spoilers and doing videos on that, but I don't check what I'm getting each month. So I don't know what my bag is gonna entail. It's not like the plus where I do go and I pick my items and I know what, I know what to expect to arrive. I just kind of hope for the best. All right, so let's start with moms. I loved the bags this month. The design for the bags were so precious. The plus two, um, I love everything about them. This is our little bag. I just, I, I love like sectioned off colors. I think it's precious. So the first thing that I see, and I, I don't remember what I chose. Oh, I do remember what I chose. I do remember what I chose, but I don't remember what mom chose. This is a Perfect 10 brush from MOTD. But yeah, this looks like a really nice little face brush. Uh, probably a good one for like powders. I would probably use it as like a blush brush just because I like to have like a really big fluffy brush when I do my blush, but um, yeah. And I also like MOTD a lot. Uh, I've gotten some brushes from them before and I really like them. Uh, I think my mom will use it, but I'm never sure. She's always kind of like weird about brushes. Sometimes she loves them, sometimes she's like meh. Oh, I do remember what she chose. Yes, I, f I felt like for our customizing choice this month, we had a lot of really good options, a lot of skincare stuff, but we are, first of all, 2020, I've been all for skincare. I'm barely doing makeup. I just do makeup really to film. I have really been liking getting skincare in subscription boxes, which used to like, you guys started watching me at the beginning. I just be like, I hate getting skincare. I changed my mind. I take it back. I apologize for everything I said, but I felt like we had a lot of good options and most of them were skincare. So she chose to get the Tatcha Deep Clean. It's for normal to dry oily skin, just a nice little cleanser, good size. She loves Tatcha. I haven't used a ton of Tatcha products, but um, I've heard nothing but great stuff about it. So this is one of the ones that I consider doing. I actually opted to go with the Bobbi Brown Primer instead because I'd never tried a Bobbi Brown product and I was like, Now's my chance. So that's what I chose. Um, but she did choose that. And then she got a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. Uh, this is something they send out pretty frequently. It is a great product though. And going into winter season, my skin always chaps. It doesn't seem to matter how cold or not cold it gets. It just, I just always start getting cracked around this time. So I actually really like to use this around this time of year, but it's just a nice little moisturizer. Once again, though, it is something that we've seen in the past. So it's not super exciting, but not bad. And then we also have an Ico Rockout and Lash Out Mascara. I know that we've gotten Ico mascaras in the past, but I'm not sure if we've gotten this one. Oh no, we haven't gotten this one. So this reminds me of the Better Than Sex wand, that kind of like, I don't even, like hourglass shape of, a, of an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow, an eyelash wand. We haven't seen a lot of mascaras this year. That was something I used to complain about getting all the time. I really feel like we haven't gotten too many this season. So I'm not sure how she feels about her bag. Um, I think it's a pretty nice little neutral staple bag. It's not like earth shattering or wonderful yet, but I mean, I don't think that it's a bad thing. I think it's just kind of like good classic products. The last thing she got, I really like. It's another thing that I debated choosing myself and I did not choose it. 
So, oh yeah, so I'm a little bit jealous that she got it because it's a really nice size. This is the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. Gorgeous golden shade. I love this kind of like golden tinted look for the fall. I think everything's just kind of brown and red and orange. I think it really goes nicely with that whole aesthetic. And it also gives you this kind of nice sun-kissed feel when it's like the sun starts to go away. Like the sun here is setting at like four o'clock in the afternoon, not really, but like it's like 5.30. It's really, it's very dark early, um, which is fine for me because you guys know I work in the middle of the night, so I normally go to bed around then anyway. So it's like, do I care? Not really. But yeah, so good bag. Um, I do think it's not, it's definitely not the best bag we've seen this year, but I don't dislike anything that she got. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect with my bag though. So let's, let's see. Okay, so the camera died while it was dead. I went ahead and pulled the stuff out of my bag so we can go ahead and start. So the first thing that we see in my bag is I actually got a brush as well, but it is a different brush. This is from Firma Beauty. And I'll take mine out of the wrapper since it's mine. I never take mom's out because I don't wanna like mess with her stuff. But this looks like a nice little like kind of a tapered contour brush is what I would call that. Um, definitely something that I probably would wind up using for like my bronzer. I don't really do a heavy contour. I normally do like a bronzer and just kind of go in there and like shape my face a little bit. So this would probably be a nice one to use for that. Um, and it feels really nice. I feel like I've gotten stuff from Firma before, but I'm not positive on that. Um, so I can't actually say if I've used the brand, but if you guys have seen me recently talking about brushes, I actually have decided I really like having a good backup of brushes. Not as much face brushes, it's more eyeshadow brushes because I just like having a good repertoire that I can just like keep using and <laughs> just keep using and then never wash my brushes and then have to wash like a thousand of them at a time, but whatever. So we'll go in next with my choice product. So I did get the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Personally, I love getting primers and like I said, I had never tried Bobbi Brown before. Somebody in my um, when I posted the video talking about spoilers for this, that they really loved this. And I was like, I'm gonna do it, I wanna try it. So I did opt to do that. It's a really nice size, actually. I'm kind of floored. Um, I feel like I can get a really good amount of uses out of this. These are always deceptive, these kind of packagings, cause you can see there's all this like, like fake space in there and gives you the illusion that it's much bigger. But I still opening it up, I feel like it's like very filled, nice and filled to the top. I really am very excited to test this out and to see how it does. So yeah, so I'm glad I chose that. Um, I think the nice thing about these subscription boxes, of course, is it gives you the chance to try brands that you really haven't tried in the past, so. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I also got the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter and I think I got it in the same shade. I think there are two shades maybe. So I think I got it in the same shade. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, this is in the shade Heavenly. Did I get that? Is that what she got? I don't know. Yeah, she got Heavenly as well. Yes, so I'm glad I got that. I feel like our bags are almost almost identical. Yeah, they're very similar, weird, because I also got the, um, the First Aid Beauty and then I got the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. I always get face masks. I talk about this all the time. It doesn't really matter what the box is. For some reason, they just love to send me face masks. I'm fine with that. Uh, the dog just ran into a box because there's boxes everywhere because we're moving. So that... don't break my tree. She knocked down my spooky tree too, which is left over from Halloween. She's just causing chaos right now. Get out of here. So the, uh, the Australian pink clay pore refining mask detoxify and brighten. Like I said, I get masks all the time. I don't love them because I just don't use them as much, but I have been using them a lot more this year and my and pores have been one of my things that I've been really trying to work with. So I'm actually kind of excited to get this one. The First Aid Beauty, I have like a thousand of these. So like this isn't as great to me. Um, it is very odd that we had like two very different bags, but like similar. We both got the highlighters. We both got the First Aid Beauty. We both got some sort of a face brush, although they were different. And then I, she chose the Tatcha cleanser and I got a face mask and what else did she get? Oh, she, and then she, yeah, then she got a mascara and I got a primer. So interesting, different bags, but similar. I, yeah, I feel like this isn't my favorite month, but I love the bag. The bag itself is precious and it's still worth my $12. I'm super excited about the Bobbi Brown, super excited about the highlighter. Face brush I think is nice. Um, so if I had to choose, if I had to choose a, bo a bag all together, I think I would choose mine. Um, I do just mainly just because I really like the Bobbi Brown and I would prefer, I think, to get the Bobbi Brown and the mask over getting the, um, the mascara and the cleanser, I think. But if I had to choose my ideal bag, I would probably go with Definitely the highlighter, which came from both of our bags. Then we'll go with the Bobbi Brown, which came from my bag. I think I would actually do her Tatcha cleanser and my mask, and then I would choose my brush. So yeah, 
like four, like basically four came from my bag and then one came from her bag, but one of them is shared. So like that counts for both. Yeah, I like my bag better. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this month. Not bad, not bad, just kind of meh. I liked actually a lot what I was supposed to get with my plus. So I'm hoping that shows up soon. I'm hoping I don't have to like worry about it, but you never know. It is what it is. But yeah, that's Zipsy for this month. Uh, December, I have seen the spoilers for it. I didn't make a video. At this point, we, we may still try to, but I feel like it's almost to December at this point. So like, is it even worth it to do it now? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. It's been crazy trying, trying to move and do all that stuff. So I know excuses, like they're like buttholes. Everybody has one, but here we are. But yeah, and then uh, also I, there's been some changes with Ipsy. I'm sure we've all seen they're getting rid of Ultimates starting the first of the year. They're adding uh, basically a Lux edition for Ipsy. Um, like what boxy Lux is. Don't know how to feel about it. Don't know what to think about it. Think it might be worth trying out, but uh, we'll see. I do like the fact that they're letting you choose three customized options. I think that's one of the weakest points in boxy Lux is they let you choose two, but they're not always great. Like I think for the one coming up in December, I chose like a teeth whitening clean thing and like some eyeshadow crayons or something. The eyeshadow crayons I'm kind of excited about. The teeth whitener could be cool or it could be like sketchy as hell. I don't know. So I don't know how to feel about Ipsy's anyway. There's a lot. I don't want to add that onto this video because it's going to be like a thousand years long, but it's, there's a lot to unpack with it. So I think we're going to see a lot of changes coming with both companies now that they've merged. Um, I'm interested to see what 2021 does. I hope they continue to go strong with Plus. Plus seems to, for me at least, seems to have changed nicely. Um, and I've been really happy with BoxyCharm pretty much this whole year. So, uh, so yeah, I hope to see them just continue to get stronger. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with a dark twist.